Alex contracts eating a signal from the brain. So here goes the brain, right here. And the brain will tell the muscle to contract by sending a message to a neuron in the spinal cord. So here goes the neuron right here. And the action potential goes all the way down. The axon, which in this case is um, a filament in the arm or yeah, a ligament or something. So it goes all the way down here once it reaches the um, presynaptic membrane which has these little vesicles. The pink part are, the green part is the vesicles, which are holding the neurotransmitters in the pink. And once it gets down here, um, the action potential causes the calcium pumps to open and release calcium. And then once the calcium is released, the neurotransmitters um, are now able to leave the presynaptic membrane to come to the synaptic cleft where they bind to um, sodium pumps on the muscle cell. So now we'll talk about what happens when the, um, the signal comes into the muscle cell. So the acetylcholine will attach to the sodium receptors and will cause all the sodium to re release into the cell. This triggers the calcium to release from the sacroplasmic reticulum and the calcium will cause the myosin head to remove the trophy myosin out of the way and it was shorting the sacrament. As you can see this is the muscle as it is in your body and when you get around to here this is is <laughs> this is how you <laughs> this is a micro sized view of of the muscle. As you can see here in the H zone this is where there's no there's no um actin and the myosin and the actin are right there together pulling Pulling the myosin pulls on the actin towards the M line as an anchor to to make the muscle contract.